Yesterday, uh, around 4.30 p.m., uh, the Outer County Sheriff's Office received a call of a possible child shot. Uh, deputies did respond, and within one minute, the deputy was actually close, was on the scene with just over a minute, found a neighbor who was performing CPR on a young child. Deputies did take over CPR with this child uh, until EMS, first responders from Ebenezer Fire, and our rescue was able to be on scene. At that point, they did notice it was a small child, later determined to be approximately three years old, uh, suffering from a single gunshot wound to the face area. Uh, the child was transported by Iredell County EMS to Iredell Memorial, later life flighted out by Atrium to Baptist, where the child was pronounced dead at around 8.32 last night. You know, we, we make this release, obviously, as a tragic, sad event. Uh, so, but we want to be respectful of the family. We want to praise the family. It's a tragic thing. We hate what they're going through, but also remember all the first responders and those in that community as well. So at that point, and the investigation is ongoing. It will continue to be ongoing with investigators working this case, gathering evidence, which we did yesterday work the scene. We are finished at the scene, and now it'll just be getting our evidence together and getting the next step of the investigation to see which direction we take. And I will take just I know that you said in the press release that the child was shot inside of a car. Yes. Were they both inside of that car? It appears this moment both of them were inside of a vehicle. When deputies arrived on the scene, uh, CPR was being given. The child was outside of the vehicle at that point, from what I'm understanding. And then I do know initially the deputies did respond and provide life-saving measures outside of the vehicle. But yeah, to answer your question, initially it was and does appear to be inside of a vehicle. Was that three-year-old, a little girl, a little boy? Uh, a little boy. Little boy. It was a the older sibling was a brother, and the child, the baby was a, a brother. And that the gun that was there was that. Where was that in the car? The gun was located inside the vehicle in the front area, best I can determine. I don't have a specific area, but I do know it was up near the uh, up in the front seat area. Chef, are the are the parents facing any charges? We'll see. We're still under investigation. I think we we understand every day. North Carolina does have child safety laws as far as guns and firearms and stories. So. But that's something that uh, we understand with the investigation. I feel confident where we're at. That's not something I'm willing to address right here at this moment. Was there any sort of gun lock that was next to the gun, or was it just an open gun in a car? That's case? part of the investigation. We'll determine that when we present our case and get it and, and confer with the district attorney's office if it comes to that point. And then that response time was very fast, just over a minute. Um, how did that? How did y'all get there so fast? You know, I think uh, you know. Call it in a bitch and call it lucky. You know, I think giving the child the best opportunity to receive help. The fact that the neighbor was there immediately, and then that a, de a deputy just happened to be within a minute minute response is, is unbelievable. Sheriff, the neighbors I spoke with today, they talked a lot about how obviously they're heartbroken for the family, but they have the first the first responders top of mind as well. Can you talk about how you know obviously this is a tragedy for you guys to respond to something like this, seeing that you know a three year old is now. It is, you know, first and foremost, we're about the family. Uh, you know, think about the, the other brother, the little boy. Uh, and coming to first problems, we did have a meeting today uh, with all the personnel that uh, probably about an hour before y'all got here, we met in this very room. We talked to a lot of the officers in our crime scene investigators and the detective that responded to that scene. Uh, some of us senior officers have been through scenes maybe not just like this, but very, very similar. So we want them to lean on us. There'll be continuations tomorrow at uh, some uh, traumatic, I guess, meetings where we'll meet at our rescue there'll be some at local fire departments and uh, there'll be a lot of counseling session you know we as an agency here will make sure that these younger officers understand that we're here to help them and we know it's going to be tough and you know this case probably the three officers there just full-time just recently back here maybe is less than two to three years in some of the cases one of them was about six months You know, I don't know if there's much I can sit here and say other than just, you know, it's it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable they jump when when it come to it, everybody jumped in to try to save that child. Uh and to be there supportive for the mother. You know, the mother obviously heard it, uh, was there close. I cannot I cannot imagine what she's going through. You know, being the mother you know, a small child and on top of that your own child. So, you know, hats off to the neighbor. And then, you know, a five year old, she's a three year old, obviously it doesn't look yeah. And it's preventable at that point. Do you, does that make you a little even more frustrated and upset that this happened? That it could have been prevented. 
you know, I'm not going to get in. Obviously, there, there's a lot of different things. I don't want to get in that I'm frustrated at all. My, my thoughts are still with the family right now and doing the investigation. So we'll see what the evidence shows and we'll see what the condition. But yes, obviously, it's a, it's something we're concerned with. We, we do have gun locks here, uh, you know, but that's that's a conversation for either prior to or later than, not just currently. Have you been talking? Oh yeah, absolutely. I think we've been in close communication with our parents, uh, with the parents, and I think they're uh, obviously where I think they would be at this point. But I think there is a, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll continue to to provide that that connection. I mean, we want to do that. Sure. And yeah. you have to say to other parents who are gun owners with younger children in, in the house. You know, you just mentioned that you guys have gun locks here. Yes. Do you want to reiterate that message to other well, parents out there? Yes, I'll say what we've been saying for the last forever. I mean, for years and years and years, there's always safely secure your weapons. When you purchase a weapon, you sign a document that says you will safely store that weapon. Just, you know, understand things can slip your mind or, hey, it may not happen, but this is a perfect example. Always prepare for the worst. Always think about that young child. Think about that young adult. Think of anybody that may not be familiar and understand what can happen. So. That's the message. As far as gun locks, we do. We, we give a lot in the community. We buy a lot and we give out a lot. So that that preventative measure is there. And Dyerdorf County has a gun lock per, per, like, program. So if you could tell the public if you could how easy it is to come in right here and get one. Yes, sir. You can send us. You can download our app, our County Sheriff's Office app. It's on Google and uh, Apple Store. You can see there's a link to it there. It's on our website. You can send us a Facebook message. You can simply, like you suggested, walk in the front door and ask us for a gun lock, and we have them. We do a lot of community partnering with different organizations here in Idaho, and we do give out a lot of those gun locks for them to distribute in the community also. So it's as easy as that. And they're free. They're free. They're free. Any other questions? Okay. Well, thank you all for coming. If you have any questions, obviously, you got our emails and our numbers. Reach out and let us know. We'll do everything we can. Thank you. Uh, yes, ma'am.